We're all building a world that supports the idea of this experiential, in her mind journey of Emma. We want people to see things through her eyes. So every aspect, the designers, the composer, us, we're building this world to focus her experience. So her experience is going like this to the audience the entire time in the highs and lows. The novel has a shifting narrative perspective, whereas our telling of the story is really through the eyes of Emma. We're giving the audience an experience of what she feels like and what she's going through. Color is such a useful tool for us, and it's really telling a strong story. Emma lives in this dreary gray world, and so the people that surround her are in this very muted color palette. And Emma's costumed as she sees herself as this vibrant, gorgeous creature, and she is wearing this sort of beautiful aqua color, and it's used practically to pop her out from everyone else, and it's used emotionally to convey how she sees herself in this world. We really need to know where we're looking in the storytelling. So part of my job is to be the visual narrative as well, is to say, we need to look here now, focus on this, this is less important, this is more important. So I often try to find a thread in a story. There needs to be a visual vocabulary. It's not just about what we're seeing, but it's about how we're experiencing the ballet and what we're feeling when we see the ballet. I come from the world of children's book illustration. So starting an idea is always with a pencil and a paper. The way I work is really traditional. Frame by frame, 2D, I use very simple software. Strong effects can come from low technique. Just a line, just some dot on something transparent can do amazingly things. It's a story ballet, but it's abstract. So it has elements of contemporary in it and storytelling. So it ha actually has both, which I kind of love. Because so much of it is spent in Emma's head, we are able to outside lend kind of an abstract viewpoint of what's going on psychologically. I think the animations will underline and light the moments of a dreamy emotions that she has. So sort of fundamentally looking that the video can give access to an imaginative landscape or an emotional landscape that is both fluid, agile, responsive and can be led by the action on stage. And we have to focus on the emotions of Emma. The animation will uh, come out from her like uh, abstract emotions. So this is not replacing a set but bringing more emotions in the dancing. The townspeople she's surrounded by, they appear in this glamorous ball at the beginning in these bright jewel tone, rich colors. And then as her everyday world appears again, they appear in these sort of drab, muted colors. And they really tell that story of her relationship to her world. The costume fittings really allow us to start to tailor the costumes to the individual dancer. And I think that's when they really become successful and united and allow the character to become defined in a really beautiful way. I have always dreamed of working with ballet and dancing, and I'm very glad I work with Helen Pickett. She has an incredible sense of the bodies, and I have to find a new way to respond to that. We all influence each other as we're working together, which is one of the wonderful things to be starting from the beginning as a group. What I love as a lighting designer is to be involved early. So what was great about Helen and James is they brought me and Gregoire and Michael Gianfrancesco who's doing the set and costumes very, very early. So I was really able to input my ideas. I mean, the best part of the work is the collaboration anywhere. And so this collaboration is starting out very open and very positive. 